Hi. Hello there. We're here in Kent and we thought today we'd have a little chat about motorhoming in Kent. Yeah. And travelling around. Well, first of all, you've got that wonderful motorway, the M20, that runs right through the county. So really, you can get from one end to the other on a motorway. So with the motorhomes, travelling around is quite easy. Yeah, very good. But we found that once you get into the suburbs, then with a motorhome, you might find it difficult to park, particularly. Yeah, you're going to Canterbury or something Canterbury like that. Canterbury or where we were yesterday yeah. in Tunbridge Wells. Yeah, quite difficult places to get yeah. into. Yeah. But uh, generally... Like I say, full length of the county, no problem at all because it serves the, you know, the Dover ferries. Yes. So there's plenty of that, yes. isn't there, really? I mean, we're quite lucky because, as you know, we drive around in Ruby, so she's so small we can push her into any little space. Yeah. So we're, we're quite fortunate. But uh, thinking about the bigger picture, because we're motorhomers, uh, if we hadn't got Ruby, uh, I think we'd have to plan a bit more carefully yeah. about where we go. I know some of you look at Google and look at car parks and see where there are large spaces and that's probably a really good idea to do and one that we'll have to do in the future yeah, if, we, if, if we've not got the small car yeah us, if we really. don't take her with us well like we said uh, we, in the past we've just bombed down and gone to the dover ferries and uh, yeah. you know park down there in, in fact we used to go straight across and park on the docks on the other side yeah. didn't we? so we really we didn't we did. stay in uh, we had an really. experience of it no but uh, lots to see in Kent. Lots it? to see, uh, but I have noticed that there aren't many campsites. Now, whether that's where we are or not, I don't know. But normally when we're travelling around, I'll say to Henry, oh, look, there's another one, there's a CL. Yeah. But not, nothing this no, time. Not, not, uh, not as many as we normally see. Don't no. mentioning that. Yeah. But uh, the, the coastline is wonderful, isn't it, really? Yeah. You know, the, all, the, all the towns are smashing, you know, the place that we've been to. Get into London by train. Yeah. London's what 60 miles away from where yeah. we are now so yeah. if you've got a small car it's quite capable you, you know it'd be quite possible to drive into London for the day for instance yeah yeah you know or any generally that sort of area lots you know and all the attractions of London yeah. really you can use it as a base but you can use it as a base for traveling on to if you're coming from up north and you, you wanted a bit of time over you could come to Kent stop over for a couple of days then go on to France yes there's lots to do or you could do a day trip to France if Travel yeah, that'd be a, fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, if travel was a little easier, obviously yeah. it's difficult at the moment. But uh, yeah, you could do yeah. a day trip from here easily. You, you could do a booze cruise. Yeah, couldn't hey, you? Hey. That's, that's a good you know, idea. Fill the van up with booze, something like that. Yeah. You know, I don't know whether you can do these sort of things nowadays, but they used to, didn't they? Yeah, we're going hey. to be uh, looking at getting into France soon yeah. because both of us would like to start touring in Europe again. Oh, hang on. So, no, I'm not advising you to do a booze cruise because if they confiscate your van, I don't want you sending me the bill. But, <laughs> no, uh, it's all for personal use, yeah. so I'll be fine. Yeah, when we used to go, to, when we used to travel down to France back in the day, we used to bring dye drinks. I don't, oh, I don't, I don't drink dye drinks. And uh, we used to bring back as many bottles of wine as we could carry. <laughs> Probably about two or three hundred bottles of wine. As we went round all the villages, all the villages have their own little wines and little tasting really, yeah, stations. Little ta I used to be in the tasting oh, station. Always, yeah. Oh, it's wonderful these tasting. What, what do you call it? Uh, degustations. Degustations. And some people, or well, the French people, take like a plastic container in a gallon container <laughs> oh, yeah. and uh, they fill it up with like a petrol pump. <laughs> you know, what do you want today, Pierre? Oh, give me. <laughs> Uh, give me one gallon of rouge. <laughs> and it, it? it was wonderful, wasn't it? So we'd bring back a flavour, only cheap little wine, wouldn't oh, we? Yeah. we weren't, uh... Whilst I love wine, I'm not a connoisseur of wines yeah. at all. I, I but, just enjoy drinking the wine. Yeah, we used to be all, uh, six bottles from here, six bottles from there, six bottles from the, the supermarket. Yeah. And before you know where you are, you've got a van full, of, when you get back to England, you've got a van full of booze. You know, and, and you're saving. We used to think you could save actually your ferry ticket, yeah, because it's so much cheaper than yeah, England. It is. I don't know whether it's the same now because we've not. No, but, you know, when we, if you you know, if you follow us into France, we'll, we'll let you know about all that. But yeah. that was great, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It was Another good. gallon, Pierre. <laughs> and they used to just like walk down with what's the French wear carpet slippers we buy. Walk down with the flat caps on, a gallon container. And uh, the slippers on. Oh, we better be careful saying all this, <laughs> aren't we, really? Yeah, I'm only joking. It's just a joke. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's what used to. In the, in the rural vill villages that we used to travel to. They were really friendly, weren't yeah. they? And, uh... But anyway, to get back to Kent. Yes, to get back to Kent, sorry. It's been lovely. There's lots of lots of woodland, yeah. lots of wildlife we've seen. Yeah. 
We saw a small deer the other day in the yeah, woodland. Yeah. yeah, lovely little yeah. thing. I don't know what it was. A tiny little, tiny little thing. Could it be? Could, yeah, it could have been. Could have been a monk jack. We've seen uh, jaybirds that we've not seen before. Yeah. yeah. I saw them when I was a kid back up in uh, Nottinghamshire, yeah. but not seen them. I've not seen them for years. No. But you know, there's more uh, wood, woodland than I would imagine in Kent. I thought it'd be yeah. more open fields before Very it leafy, came. Very leafy, isn't it? Leafy and yeah. green. Lots of old historic castles, Leeds yeah. Castle, Dover Castle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the wonderful town. We think the gem is uh, Canterbury. Canterbury, the gem yeah. of Kent is is Canterbury yeah. in our yeah. opinion. But you know that might, you might differ. You might you know that downs are beautiful to see, aren't they? Yeah. White Cliffs yeah. of Dover, yeah. lots to see. Lots we've, to we've, see. Uh, we're here for eight days. We've got a couple of days left, and we were saying last night it seems like we've been here for at least a couple of weeks. You know, you, yeah. you just go away from your normal life for a few days, a week. And it's great. It, you just seem as if you've been away forever, yeah. don't you? It's re it really does you good. It extends your life. It extends your life. It extends your life. Nice auto sleeper on the side. Came overnight. found the statue of Geoffrey Chaucer here in the older part of the city. Oh yeah, if you want to try it out, guy, feel free. <laughs> I'm not a witch. What are you trying to say? Um, nice, uh, nice and nice. Nice and nice. Nice and nice.
centre of the city. Lovely park to walk around or to picnic in. You can go on the river to, on a punt, uh, see the ducks, see the flowers and the specimen trees and just enjoy the oasis from the city really if you've been having a busy day shopping. There's a sensory garden just over the other side of the bridge and it's, it really does smell lovely. You can smell the lavender really strongly. So nice. Charles Dickens, who made this hotel famous, referred to as Chaz Dickens, which it says on the title. It's the end of our walk through Canterbury, just to give you a flavour of the city. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. See you again.